Republican Senator Josh Hawley spent the weekend complaining about men. How men are no longer men. And that for America to be great, men need to do men, uh, man things and be men. I'm going to show you here a, a quick clip from the National Conservatism Conference in Orlando, which is a gathering of right-wing activists and so-called intellectuals to promote a nationalist brand of conservatism. So, you know, nationalism, like white nationalism. <laughs> so now, uh, other speakers at the conference included Senator Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, as well as J.D. Vance and Peter Thiel. Uh, and the Missouri senator during his speech highlighted a particularly heartbreaking report in the Wall Street Journal uh, about men uh, not going to college and, well, enjoying porn and video games. Watch. Can we be surprised? that after years of being told that they are the problem, that their manhood is the problem, more and more men are withdrawing into the enclave of idleness and pornography and video games. I found the comment by one young man to a Wall Street Journal reporter particularly evocative and particularly heartbreaking. He said, I'm sort of waiting for a light to come on so I can figure out what to do next. Mm. Mm, porn and video games. Wait, what are you talking about? That sounds kind of awesome. I mean, in moderation, of course. Everything in moderation. Uh, but, so, now here's the thing. There is an actual real issue. Okay? So, now, uh, there's an issue with men choosing not to go to college. And, and that's essentially what that article is referring to. Now, he takes it, of course, into men falling into idleness and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it, it goes just back to the whole culture war stuff. But let me give you some information, right, about how there is an actual issue. So uh, apparently in the fall, women outnumbered men on two to four year college campuses by millions. Uh, nearly 60% of students are now women, while only 40% are men, an education gap that has been widening for decades. Total enrollment in colleges have fallen by more than a million students over the past five years. The Wall Street Journal reports that men accounted for 71% of the decline. That's pretty big. That, that's, that's a big drop. Now, of course, there are reasons here before I get into that. For Hawley, this is kind of ironic because he's saying, I can't believe men aren't going to college. Uh, I can't believe they're, they're falling into quote-unquote idleness and porn. Um, now, here's the thing. If you're, if you're worried about that, why are you then part of the party that literally spent the last decade saying that higher education, college bad? Like de literally demonizing college education and essentially calling it uh, like a Marxist, you know, sort of re-education camp or something like that and saying that it's bad. Well, okay, well, hold on here. <laughs> they, they also say things like, oh, you know, men need to be manly and need to do manly jobs like uh, construction and being welders and bricklayers. And yeah, well, you know what? Here's the thing. Skilled trades are very important. If you like skilled trades and if that's what you're good at. God bless, do that. By the way, you should join a union and organize your workplace and fight for, for higher wages. That would be a wonderful thing, right? Um, and by the way, not only men you know, do those jobs, uh, women can do those jobs as well. And again, some of those jobs are, are very high, well, uh, you know, high paying, and that actually don't come with the cost of student loan debt. So now on that front, I actually wouldn't be surprised to see Guys look at that situation, look at how much a uh, college costs and student loans and think, fuck it, I'll go and do those other things that don't cost. God bless. God bless. But again, here's the thing, right? Men are falling behind on higher education. And that is an, that is an issue. Um, now, there are theories. Okay. Uh, so one theory that's being floated is that boys um, are more likely to be held back in school, drop out or even having trouble learning to read in K through 12 education. I don't know how true that is. Again, this is some of the theories that are being floated around. Uh, another theory is that since women have to work harder than men to get the opportunity that men already have, that, you know, that's why they're going to school more than men because men already have that opportunity. I don't, again, I don't know. Um, but for me personally, I actually do think one of the bigger drivers here is student loan debt. And think about it this way. 
Student loan debt is about $1.7 trillion. That, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money that's being held in, in, in student loan debt. The cost of college is astronomical, absolutely astronomical. So people, again, will look at that and think, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take on that much debt, especially when you look at an economy that you know, will, for example, pay people only $15 even if they have like a four-year college degree. Well, you're gonna to need to make a lot more than that. $15 an hour is $30,000 a year. That, that ain't much at all. Especially, again, when you have the cost of college that is somewhere, you know, in the, in the tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars range. So, it, again, it, it, if that's why you want to stay out of college, that's perfectly fine. And by the way, there was a plan. It was stripped out. There was a plan to make two-year community colleges tuition-free. That would have been amazing. That actually would have helped this problem somewhat. But of course, the, the you know, real solution here is not only to erase student loan debt by canceling it, but also to make four-year colleges and universities, that's public colleges and universities, tuition-free. That, I think, would solve a lot of the problems in, in this. Uh, but no, no, Josh Hawley thinks it's the porn. It's the SJWs. It's, they're playing video games because someone has criticized or society has criticized their masculinity. Wait, wait what? For one, again, porn and video games are kind of awesome. I again, if you do it in moderation, nothing is wrong with either of those things, okay? Uh, but understand, this is, this is culture war stuff. It's culture war stuff. Because uh, apparently women to, to the conservative have taken over, since when, right? Uh, and since they did, Men can no longer be manly, whatever that means. And now they just have given up and decided to play video games and watch porn. I... Oh, oh, and by the way, they, they also want to be beta male, beta. So uh, that's it. Th that's it. No, that's ridiculous. That's really dumb. No, here, here's the thing. It, this is my opinion, but I think, uh, you know, something that's manly is being yourself. Enjoying who you are. If you're a burly bricklayer who loves to drink beer, hunt and fish, that's fine. It works for you. Do you, dude. That's, if that's what makes you happy, if that's what makes you feel good, fucking do it. Do it, do it, do it. Now, if you're a guy who cries during Titanic, paints your nails, watches Sailor Moon, and has a man bun, do you. I don't care either. You know what? Good for you. Do you. Be honest with yourself. Be who you are. Love who you are. There's nothing wrong with any of this stuff. All right, just, just to be yourself. So again, one of the biggest, and, and this is just what I've heard, turn-ons about a man is confidence. Just be confident. Not like fake cockiness, because people can sense that a mile away, but like actual confidence, liking who you are, loving who you are, but not in like a super weird, self-obsessed, narcissistic kind of way. All right, that's it. That's what, I think that's what being a man is. Okay, you care about and treat people who, you know, do the same to you and you fight for those and you protect those who you care about. And of course, I think more importantly as well, you stand up for others against injustice and you fight for people who don't, you know, you might not even know them, but you still fight for them. I think that's a man. And I think that's not only just a man, but I think women who have the same traits are also good women because guess what? That makes you a good person just overall. That's it. These, these traits are universal. And by the way, getting in the subject of masculinity and femininity, understand that both are just perfectly fine. That's it. And by the way, members of any gender should be able to do what feels right for them. Putting all men and women into specific little boxes deprives them of freedom, deprives them of choice, and creates things like depression which is a serious issue among certain men. And by the way, some of this depression and frustration uh, leads younger men to act out, to be more violent. Non-binary too are, yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying, like uh, gender, uh, you know, non-binary, all of that. Just be yourself, just be happy and, be, and love who you are. 
that's it. That's it. Um, now, again, so look, if you force rigid gender stereotypes and not allow people to be who they are, right? Um, people like Holly and social conservatives are actually doing a huge disservice to men, women, and everything in between. And, and look, as far as we're, we're having a conversation on men, right? Um, it, men get depressed, and there, there is an issue with depression. Because look at the messaging coming out from them, okay? Uh, by, you know, the, like they hear SJWs are ruining men. They hate men. They hate you. Women hate you. Uh, society hates you. There's a war on men being feminine at all. In any capacity makes you weak and bad. You're beta male, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And that's why Western society is crumbling. Imagine all the pressure that puts on you, right? They heap all that pressure on the young, impressionable men, right, and boys, and say that you must either be super masculine or you're terrible and you're destroying uh, you know, the civilization. What do you think that does to somebody's psyche? What does he think that does to somebody's ma uh, you know, mind? Insane. Insane. We're human, guys. We're human. We are who we are. And stop trying to make all of us fit into an ideal that, honestly, very few people fit into. Okay? And that's it. That's it. Like, just be you, okay? If you want to be traditionally masculine or traditionally feminine or anything in between, totally fine. The only thing that I ask of anyone else is to not force anyone else to be the same way as you. Don't do that to other people. What you're being told is happening to you, okay? The same people who claim that society is attacking men and destroying men are actually the real ones that are attacking and destroying men. And once people figure that out and understand that only, you know, that, that one man being more effeminate than another is perfectly fine. It doesn't harm you. It doesn't do anything bad to you. It doesn't destroy society. Um, it doesn't do any of that, okay? The, the, the sooner you learn that, the less the divisive social conservative culture war issues can distract us from real economic issues that harm all of us. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.